morning from England. We are starting the morning off with a little walk along the canal, which is really nice. I got a coffee from the cafe just down the canal. Today, the weather is not quite as nice as yesterday. Definitely a bit overcast, but it is nice because we do have a bit of a breeze. So we're gonna do our little walk, a walk and talk, and I don't know what we have on the agenda for today. We'll maybe play pickleball. I don't know, I'm happy to be here and we're gonna see where the day takes us. To be honest, the jet lag hasn't hit me yet. I'm doing pretty well, I would say. We woke up at like 8.15. I'm actually feeling fine. I feel adjusted to the time change, even though it's only five hours, but it still makes a difference, especially with the travel day being overnight. But I slept like a baby last night. I don't think I'm gonna need a nap today, but I might still be tired as the day goes on. But so far, so far, so boats are so cool so people can either rent these or live on them which is, is cool hi doggy wow these houses are really cute this looks straight out of a movie traditional like Greek salad bowl so we don't have lettuce it's rice chickpeas orange and red peppers cucumber pine nuts which is a very nice add to the to the bowl feta cheese and then we did olive oil lemon and salt and pepper for the dressing don't think it's going to be enough food for Callum but we should call about pickle oil or do we not want to do that today I don't know I still would mm -hmm. fun. it looks like it's clearing up a little bit so we've just come outside. We're sitting in the garden with some more iced coffee because I'm feeling a little midday slump and we're gonna play Monopoly Deal. Look at our cute little setup. We've moved the table from here to this side because the wind keeps picking up and blowing all of the cards everywhere so here we go <gasps> about four or five hours trying to plan our trip <laughs> and we have come to find out that the train tickets that we were gonna get don't really make sense because we would have to go back to our original point before going to the next destination yeah it was a bit of wasted time however we're gonna regroup and try to figure that out tomorrow but dinner was really good and now we're gonna watch the Last of Us, which I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what to expect with this, but we're gonna give it a go. That's our activity for the evening. And again, we have really no plans for tomorrow, but we'll try to figure it out. It's a very late start to the vlog today. Today is Sunday, and the weather's actually gorgeous outside but it is supposed to rain in like two hours. So it's currently 1.39 and we are about to head out to go to lunch with some of Calum's friends. I don't think I'm gonna pull out the camera at lunch because people just aren't, they're not uh, used to a camera, let alone people I don't even know, but that's fine. 
So we're gonna have lunch and then tonight Callum's mom is preparing a roast dinner for us, which is I don't know if it's traditional to English. Usually you have a roast on a Sunday. Okay, so it's a traditional Sunday evening dinner. So that'll be nice. And then we might go to Brad and Mia's for a game night after that, which I've already met them because they came to cruise on Voyager. Let's go to lunch. Maybe by the end of the trip, I'll have a, an English accent. Just being around all these English people. Outfit of the day. I don't know where, I think I got this from Zara, but I think this is the first time I'm ever wearing it and I've had it for years. And then I've got my jean shorts on from Urban Outfitters, I think. And then I brought a jumper in case it gets cold. The walk to the restaurant wasn't too long. It was probably a 10 minute walk, but it was such a gorgeous day outside that I really enjoyed the stroll personally. At the pub, we got fried cauliflower bites and calamari, which was so tasty. And after lunch, we walked along the canal, making our way back to the house. And then we watched a couple episodes of The Last of Us, which is such a good series, very intense. And after that, we played a couple rounds of Monopoly Deal while waiting for dinner in the garden. For dinner tonight, Callum's mom prepared an English roast dinner with some red wine. It was so good. So we had chicken with gravy, roast potatoes, broccoli, and carrots. I really, really enjoyed that. We just had the most delicious roast dinner. My first roast dinner, and it was so good. Kind of reminded me of Thanksgiving. The chicken was so moist and the potatoes. Are you kidding me? So yeah, we played some Monopoly. We went oh, to lunch. Did we? we didn't grab Monopoly. Did we forget it? Yeah. This is a super long road. Yeah, we got Uno as a board game. We got general cards. We got what? What do you mean? We got cards against humanity. We got cards against humanity. We got and power. We got uh, Peaky Blinders game. We got a load. Yes, carry on, I got loads here. Alright, okay. so we had one job one to bring job. the cards. Put it on the table so it could close. I should have checked though, I should have grabbed it. raining but it's fine it's just drizzling so hopefully we can find an umbrella and then the rain will stop at some point hopefully plan for today is a little bit of exploring walking around seeing the sights we're gonna do some shopping maybe grab a bite to eat get a coffee you know the usual I had a really cute outfit on but because it's raining we have our raincoats on right now but that's that's fine at least we're dry so we're giving black and white today. Found an umbrella. We are on Matthew Street and we are just walking through the Cavern Quarter, is what they call it. So this is where the Cavern Club is and this is where the Beatles pretty much made a name for themselves and became like a regular performer at the club. They were like the headliners, if you will, for over 200 different performances, which is crazy. So, we're just checking it out. Here's the Wall of Fame. So these are all different artists that performed at the Cavern Club. This is so cool. This is the original entrance to the Cavern Club. Established in 1957. It was so much fun walking around Liverpool because I've been to England, I've really only been to London, so it was nice to explore a new part of the country, and Liverpool is such a lively city. Of course, the Beatles are iconic, so it was fun to see a lot of the history behind the Beatles and be in the exact places that they once performed. Why are the taxis so cute? 
because we went on a weekday, we went on a Monday, so it was a bit quieter walking around, but still quite populated. There was a lot of people out, even despite how much it was raining. It rained the entire day, but that did not dampen our day. We've just made it to Liverpool 1, and it's time for a little bit of shopping because it's still raining. First stop, Zara. Yes. Pull I love Pull Bay. We shopped around Liverpool 1 for a couple of hours and then decided it was time to have some lunch because we were getting hungry and also wanted to hide from the rain for a bit. So I found Maggie Fu on TikTok and we were really craving some comfort food and ramen was the perfect choice. So we decided to give this a go and it did not disappoint. I'm doing ramen bowl. Those chicken ramen Dude, bowl. I have very high hopes for this place. We ordered starter some spring rolls and then of course the ramen but i have a good feeling about this spring rolls just came they look nice and crispy that is steaming oh my god smoke. look at that steam the ramen just came mine looks incredibly spicy i'm hoping it's deceiving <laughs> i can handle spice but if it's super super spicy i don't know anyways it looks delicious and then this is what Calum's looks like. Also yummy, and they are once again steaming. 10 out of 10 recommend. That was such a good find. And now we're gonna start a little more shopping and specifically thrift shopping. I found this recommendation on TikTok, so let's see if it's any good. That champion sweatshirt up there is really cool. Oh, yeah. I've ended up in a children's shoe store. And are these not so cute? But they're like 130 pounds on sale. Copy! <laughs> I do that every time. Thank you. And we're on our way home. I really cut the time close with this coffee, but I had to get my free coffee for the ride back. And I did. Fun day out. I did a little bit of shopping. I can show you what I got after we make dinner, but we saw everything we wanted to see. We did some shopping, went into a couple thrift stores. I got a free coffee. So all around it was a good day and the rain wasn't too bad. It was just like a light drizzle throughout the day and it did stop at some point. And the highlight of the day, 100% was the ramen, in my opinion. Now we're home. We're cooking dinner. We're going to have some little chicken wraps and then we're going to watch the third episode of The Last of, the last of Us. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. The sun is out. We'll see how long that lasts for, but I haven't vlogged in a couple days and we are, are we going straight? Yeah. We are on the way to Cheshire Oaks, which is an outlet mall. Couldn't help myself. To be fair, this was Callum's idea. So, we're on our way to do a little bit of shopping at the outlet mall. But today was a good day for it because it's supposed to be mostly clear and the outlet is like an outdoor outlet mall. So you're gonna be in and out of stores. This is my little new jumper that I got before coming from Zara. It's like a cropped little sweater. And I'm excited to do some shopping, get some bargains. We made it. Let's get our shopping on. Well, there's a Nike. Cadbury. Ooh. We're going to have to get a coffee for sure. Adidas. Show me the deals. Oh, I like that brown sweatshirt. That's cute. The order of business here is seeing what shoes they've got for me. Where'd you say kids were? Over there? Well, they've got little Hello Kitty shoes. Not quite my style, but there's really not many options. I was kind of hoping for like a whole wall of clearance, like the Niagara outlets. <gasps> this is like a heaven. This is why I'd eat in like two days. <laughs> this looks good. Have you had this one? Yeah. 
Yes, you like it? This one, actually, the crunchy looks like sponge candy. I feel like we should buy something from here. Oh my god, there's so many flavors. We're in a bookstore and they've got all of these books on clearance. Some of them are three for six pounds, which is very enticing. Even though I've got a Kindle, there's nothing quite like a real book and these covers are giving. So I think I might, I might come out of here with a book. Just have to figure out which one I want. I've been seeing this book everywhere, so I definitely need to bring this home with me. amazing. Ugh. I wasn't able to make a decision yet on what coffee I wanted in case I liked this more than my own. But Callum got this strawberry ice latte. Did you get oat milk? Oh my god. It's so good. back home I just wanted to show you a little haul of everything I got I didn't go too crazy today there wasn't a ton of stores clothing wise for me to be honest but I still picked up a few goodies we're gonna start with Lulu that was the final purchase of the day actually and I'm really happy about it so I got this long sleeve crop and it's this beautiful teal color I used to have a competition dress in this color and I loved it so this was only 24 pounds the sides are kind of ruched, so it's really cute. Fits me so comfortably, nice and fitted, and yeah, that was a good find. I did pick up three books like I showed you. So the first book I got was One Italian Summer. The next book I grabbed is The Lion Club by Annie Ward. This looks good. It's like a mystery or like thriller. And then the last one I got is Made in Manhattan by Lauren Lane. I quickly checked on Goodreads what the reviews were, and they looked pretty good. It was like 4 out of 5 for all of the books. So, I'm really excited about that. I haven't had like a physical book in so long. I'm going to bring one of these for our like train ride to whichever trip we go on first. But, I thought this was a really good deal. I got 3 books for £6. So I was happy about that. I did go into this makeup store. There was so much makeup and everything was discounted. I don't know why. Um, so I spent quite a bit of time in there and got just a few things. I wanted to buy more, but I kind of held myself back. So I got three things from Revolution Makeup. So the first is this highlighting stick. It looked really pretty. It's like a rose gold. Second thing is a cheek and lip duo. So I can use it for cheeks and also as like a lip tint. Just a really pretty color. And then I got a lipstick. I already have one of their lipsticks and I really like it. So this is a shade We Were Lovers. It's like a really bright pink. I thought that'd be fun. And then the last thing I got is the W7 Matte Setting Spray. This was, again, like two pounds maybe. I'm always using setting spray for daily makeup and also for shows. So I got that. Then the final thing I got is a pair of earrings. I just picked up these really tiny ones from Claire's. These were also on sale. I think I got them for four pounds. I got these really tiny ones because I actually lost the earrings that I got my ears pierced with and I have to wear earrings at all times. Otherwise the holes will close. So I got these. That's everything I got. Callum had a lot more luck than me so he got a good amount of things and we're just sorting the room now and can throw some stuff in the laundry. That is the end of this vlog. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more adventures around England. I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.